Hi there, I'm Darren Forrest. Let's play Sam and Max Saves the World, Episode 2, Situation Comedy. Let's look at a wall. This could use some sprucing up. Whatever happened to our can of spray paint? I refuse to answer on the grounds that I may incriminate both myself and a prominent local politician. Say no more. Ooh! Kinky! Ooh, cooking show. Ooh, game show, Dory. Let's look in there. Who's never going to be a millionaire? Look, Max, there's the door to Myra's set. Let's get in there and liberate her literally captive audience. Sam, forget the hostages. There's somebody famous. It's Hugh Bliss. <gasps> Who Bliss? Who? No, Hugh Bliss. Inventor of prismatology? Help millions unlock the power of their personal color spectrums? That right. sounds oddly familiar. A stage magician turned happiness guru. Like we didn't have enough of those already. I want to meet him. Fine. But if he magically pulls another rainbow butterfly out of somebody's ear, I'm leaving. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. You? Yeah, we know. And you are Sam and Max, freelance police. <gasps> How do you know? Do you believe in magic? Because I do. I don't know whether I should love or hate this guy. But he makes me feel very uncomfortable. So, Hugh Bliss, what brings you to WARP? I too am here to meet Myra. <gasps> How do you know we came for Myra? Oh, 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 don't you see? I can read your mind. As the resident Doubting Thomas of this crime-fighting duo, I consider it my civic duty to say, prove it. Okay, think of something, anything. Okay. Hugh Bliss is a big fat charlatan. Was he right? Big deal. Everyone thinks that. Oh? Think of something else. <laughs> Pennies on the eyes of a dead mime. Well? I must have been silently mouthing the words. Really? Think of something else. <laughs> hmm. Six million three hundred and seventy-three thousand four hundred eleven. Point nine eight. Sam? Lucky guess. Was it? Think of something else. Enough of this ridiculous farce. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> do me, do me. Oh, oh my. And that's unspeakably depraved. Yeah, you got it. Wow, you're amazing. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, why does he want to see Myra again? What's your business with Myra? I'm to be a guest on her show, silly. Yeah, silly. I'm spreading the word about my new book, Emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness. Take a copy when you leave. Can you just give us the ten word summary instead? We're on a pretty tight schedule. Ten words? Oh my! How about prismatology is the answer? Unicorns are pretty and rainbows too. That's ten. Okay. That doesn't answer a question, no. What's the story on this prismatology flapdoodle? Prismatology is only the greatest intellectual, emotional, and spiritual revolution ever to grace this fair planet. Thank goodness we have someone who can give an impartial assessment. Shh. Tell us more. Join prismatology today, and you too can experience the magic of true bliss. That goes against everything I've ever hoped for, and yet now I'm strangely attracted to the notion. Snap out of it, little buddy. We've got a case to solve. Dazzle us with a feat of ledger domain, why don't you? Okay, I'll show you the magic of prismatology in action. Pick a color, any color. Ochre, ochre! No, mauve! Bird sienna! Uh, how about a color I've heard of, hmm? Pick a color, as long as it's red, green, or blue. Huh. Um, okay. Um, blue? Do blue, Hugh. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, I know what you're thinking. Is it real or is it illusion? Okay, um. Say, Hugh Bliss, can we get a picture with you for our scrapbook of instantly forgettable memories? Splendid idea. 
I wish I'd thought of it. Oh, and in fact, I did. He, hence the camera. Now gather round. But how will you take the picture? By magic. Okay. Say, chocolate-covered puppies. Chocolate-covered chocolate -covered puppies. puppies. Delicious. So where's the picture, magic man? Oh, my. I seem to have misplaced it. <gasps> hmm. Check your pockets. Maybe I left it there. <laughs> okay. Sorry to interrupt your little joy fest, but I've got a situation here. Never fear, pretty lady. Hugh Bliss is here. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, our game show host went on Myra hours ago, and he still hasn't come out. Think you can fill in till he gets back? Can a butterfly fly? Yes? Yes, it can. Oh, what do I do? When a contestant comes to the podium, just read him a question from the card. Then, when he gets it wrong, insult him and tell him to get off the stage. Oh, no, no. Prismatology teaches us to love everyone, no matter what. Right, just read the cards. Okay. I still love you. <sighs> Starting to get kind of freaked out with this guy. Well, let's go on to Myra, then. It's polite to knock. You do know we're taping a show here. Great day in the morning. It's Myra Stump herself! Yourself. Okay, so can we come in? Can we come in and see the show? Can you? Don't you mean... Uh, may we come in and see the show? That's much better. No, we're at full capacity. The only people getting in now are famous people who are appearing on the show. Okay, can we be guests? Can't... May we appear as guests on your show? I excel at talking about myself! Are you famous? Perhaps. In an internet petition or there ought to be a law kind of way. Not good enough. I'll need evidence of your explosive star power. I blew up a public restroom last week. I want to see a copy of your recording contract, for one thing. Well, what if we... Recording, contract, and a clip from your hit TV show. You're not anybody these days if you don't act and sing. Recording contract, TV clip. Piece of cake. No cake. I'm on a diet. But I will naturally need evidence of the latest juicy scandal you've been involved in. We have to be scandalized? Of course! What kind of show do you think this is? Are you sure you want us to answer that? Look, mm. it's very simple. Show me a recording contract, a clip from your TV show, and some evidence of a scandal, and I'll squeeze you in. Oh, is that all? Okay. As it happens, we brought a clip of our wacky hit sitcom, Midtown Cowboys. We're the stars. Well, I'm certainly impressed with how far standards for entertainment have fallen in this country. Um, thanks? But you're well, also going still to need a recording TV. contract and a nice juicy scandal to be a guest on my show. Okay, so... Well, you know, you never know if you at. Don't ask. How about letting your hostages go now? What do you say? Hostages? They're my guests! You know, if there's one that fries my burger, it's the rampant victim culture in American media today. Oh, boo-hoo! Myra's audience all got luxury minivans. Now they have to worry about where they're going to park. Bah! I know what you mean, Myra. It's like I'm always telling people, don't think of it as a bullet wound. Think of it as a transfusion opportunity. <laughs> uh, I like Max. He's funny. Yeah, but seriously, free the hostages. Seriously, we're officers of the law, more or less, and we'll have to insist that you free the hostages. Of course. Just as soon as the show's over. And when is that exactly? Oh, who can say? We still have so many gifting opportunities. I just found a year's supply of industrial strength soap backstage. I think I'll give that away. Or else have a valuable lesson on curing potty mouth. Yeah. Your eyes look a little spirally. Are you feeling all right? Of course I am, sweetheart. By the way, when was the last time you brushed your teeth? And you should really be flossing. You certainly sound like your normal self. But why are you keeping everybody in there? I'm just doing what I always do. Slave and toil to put on the best show possible. It's just, after opening presents from well-wishers, I felt so compelled to make this show extra special. Hmm... Yeah. Don't be alarmed but I'm beginning to suspect that you might be hypnotized. Don't be silly. Hypnotism is just an excuse people use today to abdicate responsibility. I hate how this country's become a bushel of Bill and Betty brainwashies. 
Hypnotized or not, that sounds like Myra's patented blend of lovingly cutting criticism and charismatic know it all -atry. Yeah, I hate it from Peggy Hill and I hate it from you. I'm gonna go get my autograph book. We'll be right back. It's right. too nice to stay indoors. You boys should go play outside. And you should stop making that face, dear. It'll stick if you're not careful. What face? Okay, this looks like a good time to stop for a while. I'm Darren Forrest, and... I can't really think of anything, because... Wow, she was weird. <laughs>